Vanilla. Lots of vanilla. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a look at the, no not a look, a taste of the Cavalan Solist Vigno Brick. It's a whiskey from Taiwan and uh, it's the first and only whiskey distillery in Taiwan. It was founded in 2005. The first production appeared in or started in early 2006 and the first bottling took place in December 2008 and that was no whiskey because it was shorter than three years. Um, the Cavalan distillery became famous um, at a blind tasting in Leith 2010 to celebrate Burns Night. What's Burns Night? Well, <laughs> the Scots quite normal, uh, but for the rest of the world there's a uh, man called uh, Robert Burns. Robert Burns. I don't like these poets. I have no no mental connection with those. Uh, and he's the poet of Scotland. And therefore, it's sometimes there's an evening uh, meal called called Burns Supper. It's called Burns Day, and it is in in January, mid to end January, fifteenth of January, twenty fifth of January. As I said, I'm not very fond of Burns. There you have haggis, and uh, you, you kill the haggis with a long knife, and uh, well, yeah. Uh, and at this celebration of the Burns Night, the Cavalan was tasted with other whiskies in a blind tasting. And it won against three Scotch and an English. I knew the English one. It was, well, very limited quality. And three Scotch, well, you find three Scotch, which are not that good. I don't know which uh, bottles were tasted then, uh, but to make a Cavalan the best whiskey in the world for 2015, I think, out of five bottles tasted, boo, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so there was a, a World Whiskey Award presented to Cavalan and, and so on. Uh, there had been also a uh, a coronation of a Japanese whiskey as the best whiskey of the world. I had a taste of that against a good Scotch one, and I th think the Scotch one was better. So always be careful if somebody tells you this is the best whiskey in the world. No, for him this is the best whiskey in the world, or for that panel it is the best whiskey in the world, but these are always limited amounts of people and also what I'm saying here is a single mind. So if I say this one is the best one, you get out and have that bottle and taste it and rubbish. So this might happen. So at first you have to look at my experience and have a, well, to test my taste, that you taste your whiskey against my video and try to find the same smells and tastes in the whiskey as I do. And if you can say, and if you're able to say, well, I have the same experience, the same feeling as that old fart, sorry, uh, in the video, uh, then you can trust me. So it's always difficult to trust a press, a press release, a magazine, some experts. At first, you have to to make sure that the rules or the experience of that person or that panel is the same that you have. Okay, that's so far <laughs> the best whiskey in the world, 2015. Here we have the Solists, uh, which is the description for the single cask of Cavalan. And uh, 
the Solist is uh, the best whiskey in the world was a Solist as well and a Vigno Barrique as well. Vigno is Portuguese, means wine. So it was finished in a wine barrel, I think two years. Um, and it's a cast length. In this case, it's 58.6, and this world best whiskey blah was not 59. Point something. Um, yeah. This presentation here is uh, excellent, really excellent, and uh, isn't that wonderful? Really, really good. And the color of this whiskey, very dark. <clears throat> and I think it's unchill-filtered and uncolored. And inside this box <clears throat> you read The Mists of Kavalan. In ancient times the land around Yilan was called Kavalan, a mysterious land that was solely inhabited by the indigenous people of the Kavalan clan. Ah, clan, like in Scotland. The name was officially recognized by the Emperor of the Qin Dynasty in the year of 1809, when the origin, original city was also built under the same name. Kevlan has had always been kept primitive and protected from the outside world by the Suye Shan mountain range, which is abundant in high quality natural water oh, that comes from, that, from deep within the mountain range. The mists of Kavalan and the spirits of the past have been created for you in the exquisite whiskey. Yeah, they found their history. They found it in 2005, going back to 1809. <laughs> this gives an anchor for your mind. Tasting notes, color, deep autumn color. This is more than autumn color. This is dark amber going to ruby or mahogany nose a rich fusion of vanilla and caramelized sugars ripe melon and mango together with kiwi and a delicate blend of citrus fruit burst palate the taste ends with clean and complex flavors embodying all that is best in the finest malt whiskies and a long aftertaste Cavalan Solist Vigno is aged in the finest slow-grown white oak which is air seasoned for two years after soaking with some of the world's best wines, the casks are handcrafted with a specially developed toasting and sharing process in the distillery's own cooperage to bring out the flavors that characterize this fine whiskey. Cavalan Solist Vigno is a perfect example of technology and art blended together in perfect harmony. Cavalan Distillery making spirit seriously. Is grown, is slow grown white oak. Air seasoned for two years, so means dried for two years in the air. After soaking with some of the world's best wines, the casks are handcrafted, sorry, firstly handcrafted, then soaked by maturing wine in a brick cask, with a special developed toasting and sharing process. So. Typically, wine casks are always toasted, but not always uh, burnt. Charred. In the distillery's own cooperage to bring out the flavors. In the distillery's own cooperage, so, so the casks were used, and then afterwards they were toasted and charred. <clears throat> Marketeers. Either they have really a different art in, in making wine and whiskey <laughs> or they brought something. They screw that up after having too much of Kavalan. I don't know. <sighs> Vanilla. Lots of vanilla. Then some fruits coming up, but darker fruits. Citrus, orange. Mm. 
vanilla and caramel and some fruit. Yeah, I don't want to taste this one neat because I have still some to go today. Um, so I will have some water, some still water, bringing it down to well below 50. So it takes some time until water and whiskey mixes. That's quite normal, that's, a, that's physics. <sighs> More fruits, probably exotic fruits, these kiwi, melon, papaya, whatever. But the citrus fruit is, is dominant. The vanilla fades away, brings a little caramel. So it's a very, very pleasant note. That really kicks in then. Fruitiness, sweetness, mouth-watering, oakiness, spiciness, herbs. Wow, a very lot of different aromas in it. Very long aftertaste. Becoming drier. What's that? Ah, oh, quite different. Mm. Grapefruit peel without bitterness. No idea. Yeah. Slight dryness, but it's it's full, pleasant, mouth-watering, and no bitterness at all. This is definitely a very, very good one, and probably it's mid-May. It's the best in this month. Yeah, a really, really a good one. So, I start singing with the others, others telling you that this one is one of the very, very best. I don't think so that you can tell or can say that this whiskey is the best in the world. This depends too much on different people. Um, have a look at our whiskey database and if you have a taste of this whiskey, feel free to add your tasting notes and your quality notes in our database so that we can accumulate uh, the tasting notes of this whiskey so that you have a, a broad base of a hundred or a few hundred uh, ratings on which you are able to rely. Not only me, <laughs> or another one, or another five. <sniffs> yeah. The amount of notes matters. That's it. Thank you for watching. There's more to come, more exotic whiskies in my pipeline. And feel free to share this video.